Welcome back folks, we're back out. As you can tell, it's pouring down. But I don't know about anybody else. I love a camp in the rain. Something about that sound, aren't there? That sound of rain in a tent, it's just, it's just fantastic. So, just cracked open a wee side up. I'm going to sit back. A wee cheeky bag of crisps. Cooking still to come. Uh, wait to stay tuned to see where it is. I'm not fogged it actually. In fact, I'm quite hungry just now. I did bring a, a wee mini kind of wood stove thing with me, but it's just too wet. Way too wet. So, what I'll have to do, I'll need to try and cook it on. I can't remember what gas stove I've got with me. Or, 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 or. Who knows? We'll, we'll find out. But we'll get a bit of cooking done later on. Up the hills, hiked in. I knew it was to rain tonight, but it was more or less just, just as I arrived at the spot that I'm camping at, that's when the heavens open, as you can tell. But we're in now. It dried off, tent set up. Sleeping wise, got uh, the foil, foil mat. The climate insulated static V recon mat, my down bag, my psychology towel, which I've still to, to go up. But first thing first, I'm going to sit and have a wee drink of a bag of stuff. know how it is. Before the rain, uh, what I might do, I've actually got a wee tarp with me, so what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to set up a wee tarp just to give me a bit of extra space out the front of the tent, and hopefully that works out alright. I've got a wee kind of, I can't remember, it's the, that's a wee kind of wood stove, one Tigris, one Tigris evil, evil eyes. So I might try and get that set up later on, if I can get this tarp set up over the front of this. It's just a tiny wee, just a cheap tarp, enough to keep the rain off you. Probably, I don't think I would sleep under it, but, well, I don't know, probably would. I think I have actually already. I'm going to stick that up, and then that way, maybe later on, while I'm using the gas, I can maybe get the, the wood stove on. And I can cook on that. If not, I'll just use the gas. But right now, I'm going to get this out of the bag. I'm just going to set it up with a walking pole. A wee bit of... I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Somebody comment below. What's it called? My memory's terrible. But we'll use a wee bit of that. I think there is actually some on it already, but if I need any extra, I can, I can basically use that stick it on. Paracord, that's what it's called. Pole wise, uh, it's these carbon fibre poles. I'm trying to remember the company that sent me them. I'll, I'll stick a link down below. But they're great. See them turn to the pole, they're, they're really are so light. I see the fact that they're quick to release. Makes even better. So they're basically up in no time. Now you can adjust them in no time. So I'm going to use that probably the right height just now. Get that set up and then hopefully that'll give us that extra bit of space. Stay tuned. There we go, cobbled together. So, that'll do the job. Looks like a sack of tatties. But it'll just give me that extra space. Like I say, I'll maybe even get that wee fan box thing out later on. But it'll do me.
Without further ado, what's cooking in the kitchen tonight? Oh, what have we got? Right. I have got an onion. Three chilies. Three cloves of garlic. Three potatoes. A nice juicy steak. So I'm going to cut that up. I'm going to start cooking. Well, I'll cut it up first. Then we'll get the, the wee stove on. And then we'll send me dinner time. Just don't go away. Cutting the veg wise. I've got the wee Mora. I think it's the Mora Companion. Absolutely great little knife. Cheap as chips. But absolutely great for cutting vegetables to making uh, feather sticks, you name it, it really is, it's a, a good all round wee knife, so I highly recommend these, anyway, let's get the veg cut up, first up, potatoes, so what I like to do with these is, just cut them up into wee cubes, and they just cook far easier. Next up, three chilies. I don't have anything else, but I like a bit of spice. Next up, garlic. That's for the least, an onion. And not just any onion, an onion I basically grew in the garden. Veg cut up, as you can hear, the rain's on again and it's bucketing down. But the skin's waterproof and it's only rain. Did a wee, uh, a wee pole before I come out tonight. I just said, anybody going out while camping tonight? And the pouring rain, thunder, lightning, everything else. Or you're going to stay in the house. So I just the two answers were yes, and I can't remember I said something else. No, not a chance. So there's quite a folk, quite a few folks said no, not a chance. I'm telling you, you've got to get yourself out in the rain. But uh, it really is. There's just something about keeping under shelter. I know I keep saying about the sound of rain, but the sound of rain and a tarp and a tent, it's just well, it's brilliant. Anyway, enough of me yapping. Let's get the wee stove on. Let's get kicking. Well, the rain is coming down, but it's time to eat, so I'm going to try and get this, try and get this going.
first done, you stick a wee bit of olive oil into it. Right, then I'm going to tuck the tatties in first, brown them off. Next then, get the onions, the chilli, the garlic, fry them off. Oh yeah! First but not least, it's steak time. Oh yeah. Hey, let's flip that over. Oh, yeah. Right, and then what we'll do it, we'll chop the put the veg back in. Not the long that'll be ready. We should be good to go. Looking good. I think it's time to dish up. Looks good to me, folks. Looks good to me. Mm -mm -mm. Time to dig in. As always, if I've ever got it, a knife and fork. Luckily, I've got that, I've just carved my cellar. It's not even a fork, it's just basically something to, to hold that down. So, oh, perfection. Look at that. Mm mm mm. Mm. What I'm actually think there's, I really do need a, have I got a, I think I do, right, I don't know I'm going to eat this, <laughs> I'm sure I'll manage. Very nice indeed, mm. that's hot with the chilli, but very good. Anyway, I'm going to dig into this, bring you back in a bit. Oh, I've been down an absolute deep. I can't tell a lie. Absolutely superb. A tasty snacker, isn't he? And, you wouldn't believe what I've just found. Yep, knife and fork. That's a great wee, uh, great wee bit of kit. Uh, Bitty Big Q. You've probably seen me use the, the Bitty Big Q grill. But as well as the grill, uh, it also comes with a set of well, titanium cup and titanium cutlery. So that's pretty lucky because you know we've got a dessert. So what dessert do I have? Great wee, all foldable, 
locks into place. Great wee bit of kit. So, dessert wise, what have we got? Two strawberry cheesecakes. So, I'm going to dig in. So, I might as well eat both of them. I do like a cheesecake. I like a trifle as well. I was going to get trifles, but I thought, nah, cheesecake tonight. I think the, I've been most of the weight in my pack most of the time for food. Quite a lot of a scram, don't you? Especially when you're out and about. Run down. One down. One to go. Oh, lovely. And as ever, all the rubbish will go in a bag. Take it with me. Carry it in and carry it out. Hmm. So it rains. Well, <laughs> I was just about to say there, the rains kind of went off, but I can just see it starting again. So the rains back on. Supposed to be, uh, supposed to be thunder and lightning and all that tonight, but I've not seen any thunder, I've not seen any lightning, I've just seen rain. I'm hoping it rains later on, because I, I just love that sound. Oh, that fell off there, look like it fell in the pot. Right, we're gonna nap outside. Let's see what the let's see what the weather's like. There's a couple of kind of breaks in the clouds, but to be honest, it is pretty. I don't know. I reckon it's gonna. Maybe rain later on. But a nice wee spot. Let's see if our miles up here. What I'm gonna do just now though is I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take that tarp down. I'll we'll really use that to basically cook underneath. So I'll take that down the same as we do in the morning. I don't know what the weather's, it's probably going to be raining through the night and raining tomorrow, so I'm going to take that down just now, it's just one last thing to, to pack tomorrow. Well, to be fair, the, the weather's kind of cleared up a wee bit. I'm saying cleared up, it's still, uh, I don't know, it's might rain later on. But right now, it's dry, so that's the main thing. Even though I was actually wanting it to rain all night. But cracking. Just can't beat this. Cannot beat the night. The light is kind of starting to fade. I don't know, it must be about, about nine or something. So, lighting wise, what have we got? I've right, got this O light O bulb. Great wee thing. Ideal, nice and lightweight. Had a wee giveaway. Girl that uh, won it is still to claim the, the prize. But 
put strobe on it. It's got the kind of basic light. It's got the extra bright light. And it's also got the, the red light as well. So they say these red lights are supposed to kind of help your kind of night vision. But great wee light. I think you can also get a like a wee kind of hook thing for it to, to hang it up. I've not got that, but to be honest, you could probably just make one yourself. But handy wee light. So I'm just going to put that on. As well as that, I've also got another wee old light. light. That's a great wee thing. The life, and I can't remember the name of it. Right, but it actually comes, this is an actual charger. And it basically opens up. And then you get the wee light inside it. Again, it's got, it's got different modes on it. So depending on what mode you want. And what mode you want. Basically, you can adjust it or whatever. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set that over there. Right. So it's that time of the night. It's brew time. And, oh, chocolate biscuits. So, chocolate biscuit wise. Right, I've got, what have I got? Fox's fabulous half coated milk chocolate cookies. Oh, check these bad boys. Mm. So, it's time for a brew. Time for a brew and a bit of Duncan. Basket Duncan. Uh, like, can you beat it, can you? I do love Duncan Basket. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just going to walk my way through these. As you do. They're good. Fox's fabulous half coated milk chocolate cookies. I'd recommend those ones. No chocolate digesters tonight. No, I like a chocolate digester. I just thought I'd have something different. So I've seen these. I thought, I'll have some of them. Well, that's me. Got my cap. So I'll bring you back in the morning when I'm leaving. But for a good wee camp, it's good to get a camp in the rain. Anyway, good night. Catch you tomorrow. Hey, it's about ten past six. Oh, I slept like a log. It wasn't even that late last night. Then I went to bed about half ten, eleven. I think it's raining lightly outside, but it doesn't sound too bad. So I'm going to get up. Get packed up. Well, I may have a, I may have a wee brew before I go. But I'm going to get up. Right. Good idea. Semi dry, so let's get up. That's us, all packed up, ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to head off down the road, hopefully, back out again tonight.
uh, who knows where I'll end up tonight. But as ever, thanks for watching. Hit the wee like button, leave a comment, hit subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hit the bell for future notifications. We'll catch you in the next one. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.